Hello and welcome back to No Sugar November. Today is a very special day because I have my lovely wife Emily in the kitchen with us and she is going to show us how to make a sugar-free pumpkin pie for the holidays. So let's get our aprons on and get to baking. We've already got our oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And so the first thing we're going to do on this video is to cut open this butternut squash. Now, uh, wait a second. Why are you cutting up butternut squash? I thought we were making a pumpkin pie. So you might be surprised to find out that most of the pumpkin pie filling that you buy at the store is actually a combination of a lot of different squashes. This mm -hmm. butternut squash came from our backyard and it's also a very sweet kind of squash. So it's going to be a perfect addition to our Thanksgiving pie. All right, now that that is all done, what are our next steps? Next steps are to stick it in the oven for 30 minutes, poke it when it's done, and see if it's ready to become pureed. Perfect. I will get these in the oven and be right back. All right, so it's the next day and our butternut squash has been roasted. It ended up taking about 45 minutes to get it to the right consistency. The next steps is making our pie crust and our pie filling. We're going to start off at the blender, putting all of our ingredients together for the pie crust, pressing it into the pie pan, and then we'll come back to our blender and throw all of our ingredients together for our pie filling. Okay, the pie is out of the oven. It's cooled off, so that means there's only one thing left to do. Let's try it. All right. What do you think? Well, coconut has never really been my favorite texture, so other than that, I would say it's pretty good, and um, I would definitely do it again. What about you? Well, um. Yeah, I get what you're saying with the coconut and the crust. I would have made it a little bit thinner. Um, and the banana in the filling is pretty strong. It's almost stronger than the pumpkin squash flavor. Yeah, I didn't think it was too bad though. It was, you know, it was uh, a nice take, different take on the pumpkin pie. I think it worked kind of well. Yeah, it definitely made it sweet. And that's kind of what you look for in a pie. So mm -hmm. it, yeah, totally acceptable pumpkin pie for me. And uh, I would make it again. We will be linking the recipes that we use to make our pie um, below this video. And if you want to see us make more content like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs> That's that. Sounds good. <laughs> Butternut squash.